All right, YouTube, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. We're talking Auburn football. Before we get into this, like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle. Of course, we know Auburn is in the midst of a coaching search. Also coming at the heels of a very shaky recruiting class to where Auburn did get some Defensive guys, but didn't get the offensive lineman that they needed in this class. As a matter of fact, Jaden Roberts out of Texas, who was supposed to actually come with Demetrius Davis, decommitted. That was probably one of the biggest blows of this recruiting class. Then you look at a prospect of Gus Malzahn obviously being fired two to three days before the early signing period. But now it's like, where's the where was the backup plan? Now, Auburn has allegedly interviewed several candidates, including Bill Clark, Billy Napier, maybe Brett Venables. Uh, Steve Sarkeesian, from what I understand, declined the interview. So now it's to the point where what does Auburn have to backfield Gus Malzahn's job. Now, the going narrative is that a lot of guys are backing out of this Auburn coaching search because of Auburn wanting to dictate the support cast. And with the support cast, I mean the assistants. And usually when a coach comes to a program, they usually clean house and want to bring their own guys in. So apparently based on what media is dictating is that Auburn says, no, you come to the program. You got to keep this guy, that guy, that guy, and you can run the program. Now, listening to this type of narrative, I don't know what candidate you're going to get. Because let's just say Billy Napier. A very young, up-and-coming coach doesn't want to sabotage his own career, or at least if he does sabotage his own career, he wants to do it on his own terms, and he can't, say, get rid of Rodney Garner or Cody, Cody Burns or someone of, of that nature, then that's going to be like, you know what, I don't want to take a chance on this. And why would I take a chance on this, especially when I have had a, a good level of of success. My career is going in the right direction. I did the right thing. I was a GA at Clemson. I was assistant at Clemson. I was an assistant at Alabama. I've done all the right things. I don't want to sabotage my career at an institution that runs their program like this. And let's just assume that the program is being run like that. So who does Auburn get? If they don't get a Billy Napier or Bill Clark, or Brett Venables, or uh, Steve Sarkeesian in this mix. So it makes things a little bit messy. Now, if Auburn was willing, it, it just appears that Auburn just wanted to get rid of Gus Malzahn. And if you look at the Auburn fan base, Auburn fan base was pro get rid of Gus Malzahn. They don't like his philosophies. They don't like his relationship with the fan base but get rid of him. But now you have another debacle because you have assistance that Auburn appears to want to retain and you're not going to get a head coach that necessarily wants to retain, say, a Cody Burns or a Chad Morris to run their program. But it seems like Auburn is like, okay, well, if you come here, you this is who you got to keep. That's what it appears to be on the surface as to why a lot of these guys may or may not be backing out. Now, you got to also take into account the media pushing this angle. You, you don't know if any of these guys have re really been interviewed or really been offered. You just don't know. And that's what makes this whole Auburn coaching search so tricky is that you don't know what the true narrative is in this case. Now, I do know that Auburn has a game coming up against Northwestern. I don't know if they're going to push this whole 
head coaching narrative past that and make a decision after that. Um, I don't even know the level of urgency that Auburn has to make a decision because it appears to be not, you know, there's, there's not a huge level of urgency on the staff. You have on one end, you know, Alan Green still wanting Mario Cristobal. That has been the outside looking in narrative and maybe some sources inside maybe think on those terms. But at the same time, this is a very interesting situation at Auburn because whomever the coach is, they have to make some serious decisions on who stays, who goes. And then they have the boosters that have their narrative and their say. So I want you guys to stay tuned. I think Auburn, Auburn obviously has been in this situation before and there has never been like a serious fall off with Auburn as far as going from at least a somewhat competitive football team to just falling by the wayside like your Tennessees and your Arkansas and some of the other teams in the SEC who hasn't been able to gather things together because you still have a base group of players that who whomever comes into Auburn, they will have a interesting level of success. You have an experienced quarterback, you have an offensive line that, you know, if it, they recover from injury, will be pretty respectable. So we will have to see how this goes. It's very interesting situation. A lot of moving parts. A lot of things that people are not taking into account of. But like I said, I've, I've never seen anything like this because I definitely expected Billy Napier to accept the coaching position. But he backed out. Apparently, Bill Clark from UAB has backed out. Brent Venables, Steve Sarkeesian, uh, Lane Kiffin, Hugh Freeze, those guys don't even seem to be a factor. So just be, just stay tuned as to where this thing goes. Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Talking Auburn football, like the video, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.